We do a lot of laundry in this house, not only because we run a cleaning channel for YouTube, but because we live here and we sleep on sheets, we shower with towels, we wear clothes, we clean with cloths. There's a lot of stuff that we have to take care of. And many of you have seen our high efficiency washing machine before and have asked, hey Melissa, is an HE machine worth it? What's the benefit? What do they do? What's the difference between that and a top load? What's the difference between top load and front load? So many questions. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you everything you need to know about HE washers. And just a quick reminder, if you haven't done so already to subscribe to the Clean My Space channel, Give this video a thumbs up if you like HE washers too. If you compare a traditional washing machine to a high efficiency washing machine, you'll probably notice the biggest key difference is the central agitator in your traditional washing machine, which is that sort of piece in the middle that twists and turns all of your clothes around inside the drum. Now, when you look at your high efficiency machine, you'll just see it's got a big drum and no agitator. Instead, it tosses your clothing around in different motions, depending on the cycle that you've chosen, and it basically flips them around to mix in water and detergent to help get out any dirt, debris, stains, or odors. The other thing you know about regular traditional washing machines is that they fill all the way up with water. Well, the whole reason high efficiency machines came about is because we were looking for a better, more efficient way to do laundry. And when you use a high efficiency machine, it uses less water, less energy, and less detergent. So this sort of freaked people out at the beginning, but once you get used to the way that the machine works and you see the difference in performance, you then appreciate that your high efficiency machine can clean as well, if not better, than a traditional agitator washing machine. One misconception about these kinds of machines is that they are all front-loading. That's not necessarily the case. There are also top-loading HE machines. What you have to do is just look at your machine or the instruction manual, and it will tell you right there it's got a universal logo, HE, you'll know if it's high efficiency or not. These machines have really evolved over the years, and some of the many benefits of having an HE machine at home, they're way quieter than your traditional washing machine, because they don't have a central agitator, they're actually a lot larger, so you can fit more laundry into the drum. There's a win. You also don't have to worry about the twisting motion from the agitator, which is known to not be as gentle on your clothing, so you actually get a better wash and your clothes will last for longer because you're taking better care of them. One of the features I love about my machine is that it has weight sensors, and most high efficiency machines do have this. And what that means is it will determine how much laundry is in your washing machine, and then it knows exactly how long to run a particular cycle for. Thus, again, making it more efficient. Now these machines also use a spin cycle, and the cool thing about the spin cycle is that it gets rid of a lot of moisture and water from the wash, meaning by the time you take your clothes out of the washing machine and put them into the dryer, the dry cycle goes so much faster. I remember back when we used to have a central agitator machine, I would take the clothes out and sometimes they would literally be dripping wet. So the dryer would take so much longer. When I've spoken to people who are a little bit apprehensive about using an HE machine, one of their biggest concerns has to do with detergent. So here are a few quick fixes when it comes to using HE machines and detergent. First of all, I say buy the proper HE detergent. Don't try to make one. They are especially formulated to work with your machine, so make sure that you pick them up. Now, if you overdose or underdose your detergent, you're not going to get the type of wash that you're looking for. So it's really important to make sure that you're using the right amount of high efficiency detergent for the amount of clothing that you're putting in the load. And the way I like to do this, of course, when you look at your detergent cup, you see notches on there and that should tell you, you know, if it's a one or a three or a five, how full you should make the cup with detergent. And the way that I gauge that, I look at my load size, you know, my machine has sort of a round porthole, if you will, and if it's below the halfway point, that's when I'll use, you know, about two on my detergent cup. If it's halfway, that's when I'll use about three. And if it's a really dirty load or if it's quite full, that's when I go full tilt and use five on the cup. If you use too much detergent, 
and you don't have enough clothing in there, there's going to be a lot of residue left behind in the machine and your clothes will come out dingy. And on the other side of the coin, if you don't use enough detergent, you'll notice that your clothes don't come out clean. So it's really important that you use the correct dose of detergent and you use HE detergent for your HE machine. Another concern that people have with their HE machines is that they notice that the gasket becomes full of mildew or it smells dingy. Now this is a problem that you can nip in the bud from the day you get your machine. I always talk about it, but it's very important to do. Leave your door ajar when you're not doing your laundry. That way everything can air out and you won't have to worry about any moisture, mold or mildew being trapped inside. Now the other thing that you can do is you can leave a cloth by your washing machine and you can wipe the gasket, both the exterior and then the interior, really get into the underbelly of that gasket and give it a good once over. And what this does is removes any of that moisture that could potentially be trapped and lead to mold or mildew. Because your machine uses so much less water, it is important that you give it a cleaning every now and then. But the thing I love is that the cleaning doesn't require any elbow grease because these machines generally come with tub cleaning cycles, which means all you have to do is set it and forget it. And then that way the drum is clean. And then of course you leave the door open. We've already talked about that. And your machine will run really well, smell great and look great for years. That brings me to this week's comment question, which is what are your thoughts on high efficiency washing machines? It's a controversial topic out there. I gotta tell you, people either love them or loathe them. So let me know in the comments down below where you stand on the topic of HE machines. Here are a couple of other videos I think you're going to love. And if you wanna learn more about Maker's Clean Microfiber Cloths, you can click this button right over here. There's a button down there that lets me know you care. So click it if you liked this video and click this button right here to subscribe and begin your journey to a cleaner life. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.